Well, hello, everybody, my pickles, my snowflakes, my Goldilocks, my no matter what club members, all of you here. My name is Sarah, and this is about clean, intermittent fasting and OMAD, which is my recipe miracle <laughs> for being an old broad with um, a food addiction and how it all keeps working out for me. To me, I've said it a million times, I'll just keep saying it, it's that clean, intermittent fasting that made all the difference for me. And then I enjoy my feast of the OMAD. And I've switched it up now. I've gone from the Weight Watcher days, the keto days, the carnivore days, the back to keto days, to now more of a whole food plant. And I love it. It works for me. Don't know why, but after all those years of going without little little bits of this or that, that now I can have it, and I can have it in a environment of my OMAD, and I don't binge on it, and I know that, again, I can have it in safety and um, in a portion. I don't have the portion distortion with that. It just all works out, and I am delighted. It just Sometimes it just takes a long time. Sometimes a late bloomer is a late bloomer, right? So anyway, this tale that I'm going to tell you just kind of all fits into it. And um, it happened yesterday. And I was shopping for a lady. And I, you know, I do Instacart. So I shop for other people. And it was huge order. And I was in produce for freaking ever. She had arugula, uh, Olivia's arugula, Dole arugula, um, the clamshell baby butter lettuce hydroponic thing, romaine lettuce, um, iceberg lettuce. She had strawberries. She had blueberries. She had honey crisp apples. She had acorn squash, spaghetti squash, um, every color pepper, one of each, jalapeno peppers, uh, honey crisp apples, two different types of pears. I mean, I was, it, and I'm like laughing because it's like, I remember when I didn't have any of those things because, oh, oh my goodness, you can't have those in your food plan and how much I missed them and how much I welcomed them back. It also had a lot of other items that had backpack, grass-fed beef, chicken breasts, smoked kielbasa, sour cream, Therafresh that it was on sale for only nine dollars. They've never, I've never tried it before. But it must be must be good when it's this this much. This little bottle is like nine dollars on sale. So anyway, oh, and it had a huge thing of cottonelle, the biggest one they have. It filled up the bottom of the, it filled up the cart part, and I just put all the produce around it like like it was the the turkey or the ham on the table with all the things around it. Anyway, it was an incredible shop. And, um, you know, I bag my own groceries when I can, which is in every store but one. And and if any of you watch my Instacart channel, you know how I feel about the untrained baggers. So I prefer bagging it myself for presentation. And, you know, frozen with frozen, chilled with chilled, produce with produce, meats with meats. But in the bagging world, they don't train you. You're just a body that shows up, opens up a bag and dumps eggs in and then puts, you know, acorn squash over it. But you, you drop it from here into the bag. I swear to God, they do that. <laughs> anyway, so I shopped this whole thing and the, the text directions and instructions for how I'm supposed to deliver are very definitive. She sounds like a person that's been frustrated with deliveries before. So she comes across kind of as, you know, bitchy witchy. So I loaded up the car and I head out to this person's house. Long story short, she doesn't answer the doorbell. She doesn't answer the phone calls. I call Instacart. They tell me, um, we're going to cancel the order, pay you for the batch, and you can do what you want with the food. The total of the food was $266. When I said she got one of everything in produce, I swear she did. <laughs> so anyway, here I am with all these bags of groceries and this toilet paper that takes up almost the entire trunk. I've never seen the Cottonelle so big. Um, and it wasn't a big box store, it was Shaw's. So anyway, 
now I've got all these groceries. So I call my husband. He meets me at the door. We unload everything. And I end up with four huge bags for the homeless shelter. So that felt good. So, but I got my Christmas present. I got all these things. I'm so glad that I'm eating a whole food plant again because she didn't get any bread. But, um, and it's so fun. So I've got all of these things. So now I have to come up with all of these different recipes to cook it all, right? Anything goes with chicken. Just anything goes in a crock pot, right? With all these veggies. So right now I have the spaghetti squash cooking. I have the acorn squash cooking. And um, she didn't order Brussels sprouts, but I also cooked Brussels sprouts this morning. So the fridge is going to be filled with the veggies and that um, I'll be adding, you know, a little bit of protein to it. I don't eat a lot of protein anymore. Not a I don't eat a la large portion of protein anymore, I should say that. So how funny is that? I mean, I end up, it's $266 worth of groceries. I it's like, wow, my ship came in. And it's just, it, it's funny because one time um, it happened before, but it wasn't an order like that. I mean, it was like, you know, $20 worth of food. And I ended up being allowed to keep it. But this is so many different things, and um, and so you, I can learn new things about how to cook things. But I did give so much to the shelters, things that I, I knew that I never would have. Allergic doesn't, I mean, um, lettuce doesn't agree with me anymore. So they got all the arugula and all the different types of lettuces, just for starters. That was almost one bag. There was so much of that. But I got, she wanted organic celery. Um, Yes, yeah, like one of everything. So my fridge is full with all the different peppers and um, the celery, and I'm cooking the squashes today. It's just fun. So I'm glad that I have a whole food program now, but, but the message that I want to send here is that it was the clean part of the intermittent fasting that was my miracle. It was clearly the miracle in the whole deal to give up flavored waters, flavored coffees, loaded coffees, sweetener in my coffee, even stevia, even xylitol, they all trigger the insulin. And so to go to Just Black, please, was like the biggest gift. It took months to get there. I, I will admit it. I never thought that I would enjoy it. Now I'm a strong black hot coffee drinker, and I wouldn't want it any other way, and it works for me. And I can tell you that I'm just going to be having a great week's worth of food, maybe discovering new combos because I've got all these different foods to cook all these different ways. And um, sometimes it, it's, just, it's just what happens. And so I am delighted with my find. It works with my clean intermittent fasting and my OMAD. And as I always say here, it's not what you put in your OMAD. It's what you do with your clean intermittent fasting and what you don't put into your clean intermittent fasting. So if you're trying to get to this place, you will find it is so totally, totally, totally worth it. Don't beat yourself up. If it's hard to get here, that's okay. Once you get here, I, I guarantee you're not going to want to go back. The feelings that you have, the the way that your pants fit you, the way that the scale gives you results, those are just some of the benefits. The um, Having the extra salt with the um, element, LMNT, that I have in the morning, the electrolytes, leg cramps, gone, sleeping soundly, here, <laughs> so many good things about it. Energy level, for this 72-year-old, I shop, I do my eight-hour shift of Instacarting, fasted, wouldn't want it any other way. Even, even having a grape seems like it would be too filling for me. I am empty, caffeinated, and ready to go with my day, and I wouldn't want it any other way. So I hope that you are successful with your journey, even if it's not doing what I'm doing. You find, you find your achievements met, your goals defined, and maybe also met, and it all just works for you. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Sarah, Pearls of Wisdom and Food with Clean Intermittent Fasting and OMAD and my little bounty, my little Santa came early. 
Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you here the next time. Bye-bye for now.